back home and I got here and new car parts were waiting for me. Yay, master cylinder is in for the F100 so we can finally get this bad boy up and running again because I still want a driver. I got a lot of things to do to it. Unfortunately, my brother will not be joining me for a little while again. A little too far away. I do have another video in the works with him though, so he will be back. I'm dragging him, dragging him into as many videos as I possibly can. But before we can get started with anything, I need to get off that vacuum booster. Before I take that vacuum cylinder off, I want to show you guys what the old system looks like compared to the new system. Because it's definitely different from what I've seen before. You guys look. So this is the back of the vacuum booster up here. This rod that comes down to this mechanism, lever, adjuster. Not sure what is up with this thing. Well, this, this slides up and down on the pedal. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. The new one has hind joints. And I'll probably be hooking that up to these holes up in here. Kind of hard to see, but they're up there. There's two holes there. Yeah, this is a little weird. Probably explains why the pedal kind of binds up a little bit. I mean, it works, but yeah, no. Mm -mm. Glad I got something newer. Not holding the slider on. I never did anything to it. This was just loose. The brake pedal was loose. Ah. Come on, people. Just tighten the nut, or it's even the castle nut. Put the cotter pin in. It wasn't even there. All right, now that we got that inside out, time to take out the four bolts and this vacuum line. Boom, done, easy. Ah, even that easy as I thought. All right, I wanna take a minute to show everybody the difference between the old one and the new one and the reason why I opted to change the vacuum booster in the first place. So you can see this is rusted out pretty good. Even down internal here, it's starting to get rust in there and that's why I opted to change this. It is a functioning booster, just not functioning for much longer. With the rust getting down inside there, it's just gonna break the seal and, be, and not be working so often to change it. Brand new one. So the size is a little bit different in shape and size. It should still work for my application. This is a Summit Racing Kit that I picked up for old F-150 pickup trucks. So it should work just fine. Same kind of style brackets on the backside to mount everything with. But this one, the new one, comes with a hind joint that will attach to my pedal versus this funky rod slider thing that came on the old one. Other things that came included, a brake master cylinder bleeding kit, yay, that's definitely useful. New master cylinder has ports on either side, so I can use it whichever way I want. I'm going to keep it, it's similar to what I had before, comes with the block off and the extension rod for the vacuum booster here to gauge everything. So I have to get everything together, adjust it all, and get it on the truck. All right, no more slidey. Now just hind joint. Perfect. That already is a ton better. Smooth pedal travel now. No longer kinking up from that slider unit thing they had on there before. Hey, it worked. I really should use a, a rod with some washers and a cotter pin, or at least a bolt with a castle nut and a cotter pin on there to keep it from backing off. I don't have that right now and I'm gonna get this running. So for now, I stuck a bolt in there with a washer from my junk bolt bin that I had laying around, put some blue Loctite on to make sure it doesn't back off easily. And we're gonna go from there, at least to get the truck moving again. Then I can swap that out later because it's not that hard to get to. So I got everything mounted up here now. Four bolts in the firewall, four nuts on the vacuum booster here, attach my hose. Now when you make sure to go put on your master, do not slide this on first. This goes on after. This needs to sit flush against here. What we need to adjust now is the plunger inside here. I need it to be close enough to this that there's not a gap, but I don't need it pushing on it because if there's pressure pushed on this, it's gonna apply pressure to my brakes and drag my brakes everywhere I go. So we need to adjust this now. And right now, this one actually has a little adapter piece to go in here to take up the slot. We'll slide it on, see if it goes all the way out without any pressure. 
So I did shim the back of the vacuum booster to the brackets because when I put the vacuum booster on before test fitting, the plunger that sticks out from the vacuum booster here that engages the back of your master was putting slight pressure on it. And that's not okay because that means I'm applying pressure to my brakes as I'm trying to go somewhere. So I needed to space it out a little bit because the way my pedal is designed to do that. Unexpected things come up when you work on these cars. Luckily, eight shims was enough to shift this out enough for me to put this on and keep going. Now it's time to bleed this thing. All right, to bleed the master cylinder is actually pretty easy. Comes a decent little instruction set up. Comes with a plastic little piece, a couple hoses, and a little holder to hold this all in place. Always use fresh brake fluid when you do this. Now they clamp this to the vise, they tell you to do that. Be careful, this is cast iron, this will break, so don't crank, crank it down super tight. Now I'm gonna end up holding this just because this thing broke, but that's fine. As long as these two tubes stay submerged, we are good. Now we're just gonna push this in and cycle it through. Yeah, I had to do this a couple of times over. It normally only takes a couple pumps to bleed these things, but the fittings on the opposite side they used to block off the other lines were sucking in air, so it took me multiple attempts. Good news, it's all installed. Well, I did all that yesterday. Now, I need to test that pedal. If it's good, go for a drive around the block. But to do that, I gotta move the fleet. Yay! Now the true test. How good is the pedal feel? I feel solid. Like solid enough that I'm not gonna bleed the system. I'm just gonna go for a drive. Let's go! Oh yeah, right, carburetor. Oh, you gonna play that game. This is why I like fuel injection. Oh, brake pedal feels a little soft, but yeah, I feel that was a good case. <sighs> Love old school stuff. Well, so far, it's soft pedal, but she's definitely working better than she was. So I'll take that as a win. But I also didn't take the time to bleed the brakes like I was supposed to, so well, I'll bleed them here in a little bit. I want to go around the block, see if it's make sure everything's functioning correctly. Then I'll take the time for all the to bleed them because just me, myself, and I, I don't have anybody here to help me bleed them, which is the best way to do it. Get a little speed. I right, forgot how touchy the steering was. Oh, yeah, it's way better than they were. <laughs> Yeah, definitely still need to bleed. <laughs> Woohoo! Didn't mean to actually lock those up. My bad. For a 289, it's actually pretty dang spunky. I'm really surprised on how well the throttle response is. Brakes definitely work. They locked up. I was really surprised by that because I haven't bled them. Success! <laughs> all right, I gotta go clean up the garage now and get all that mess cleaned up so I can work on the next step of this project, which is making me fit in here because this steering wheel is way too flipping big. 
Good news is, the brakes work in the truck. Yay! Bad news is, I have another problem. That would be a suspecting transmission fluid based off color and location. Well, that's, that's brake fluid. Made a bit of a mess when I installed the master cylinder. It was dribbling out. It, it's on there. It's not leaking. Brakes work good. I didn't even believe the brakes, which is a no-no, but I did it anyways, and it works great. Locked them up. Didn't intend to. Hope the neighbors going to be pissed about that. My bad. Oh, well. Moving on. Next, maybe they'll pave the road soon. Till next time. Peace. Get down there and click the button. You know what you got to do. Come on. Help a brother out. Help me out. We can do more of this. It means I can get my brother in more videos. Huh? Huh? Is that going to help? That going to help? My brother's fun. Most of the time. So he makes fun of me most of the time.